Hey everyone, Narciss here from The Gaming Projects, coming today with a quick video. My voice is a little raspy from allergies this morning, so forgive me there. Anyways, we have some major Kingdom Hearts stuff revealed to us today, and I want to discuss it all very quickly with you guys. Before we get into all the Kingdom Hearts goodness, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell to stay notified on future videos. In Japan, while people here in the States were asleep, had the Kingdom Hearts 20th Anniversary event. Only 300 people were invited to this event, but the Kingdom Hearts community had some big expectations for it, and these expectations seem to have not been in vain. Square Enix's Kingdom Hearts affiliated YouTube channels all put up a 20th anniversary announcement trailer short after the event concluded, and this trailer had some juicy information in it. Starting off, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Dark Road will finally be receiving its conclusion in August of 2022. Half a year late, but hey, we shall take it. Next, a new Kingdom Hearts mobile game was announced called Kingdom Hearts Missing Link. Yay! Another Kingdom Hearts mobile game. Woohoo! Yeah, not really, but these Kingdom Hearts mobile games really rake in the money for Square Enix, so it was to be expected. I don't cover mobile games here on this channel, so I'm not really going to delve into this game and what it's about. But the real meat and potatoes of this event was the final announcement for this trailer, which was, yes, Kingdom Hearts 4. It has officially been announced, and damn does it look good. That NVIDIA leak is really proving true at this point, everyone. Now, the trailer does reveal that Kingdom Hearts 4 will be taking place in Quadratum, which is a more realistic looking world comparable to the one that we live in. The graphics for this game look far more realistic, but I believe this is due to the game taking place in Quadratum, since Goofy and Donald made an appearance at the end of the trailer, and they are rocking their old school cartoonish features, and they were obviously not in Quadratum. One key takeaway I took from this game is that it seems like a major step away from the traditional Kingdom Hearts way of being centered around Disney World. It just makes me wonder if this is the new direction of Kingdom Hearts that they are trying to pull away from using Disney's IPs. This would be weird though considering that Disney owns Kingdom Hearts. Maybe Disney is tired of using their other IPs in Kingdom Hearts and are wanting it to begin standing on its own. Definitely a lot of questions with not enough answers. No release date was given for the game, but I would not expect to see it anytime soon. With that everyone, I am going to end the video. Let me know in the comments what you think about all these reveals, and let me know if you were tired of all these <laughs> mobile Kingdom Hearts games. Make sure while you're down there to like, subscribe, ring that bell to stay notified on future videos, and until the next project guys, take it easy. I'm out.